Lily Reese Mark squander Ronda after scary Instagram move. Now Chicago has decided they aren't going to let Quanda Ronda breathe and Lily Reese is on board with that decision. Rondo attracted the ire of the O Block and behind after his guy Timothy Leakes shot and killed King Von after Von punched Quando in an Atlanta club parking lot last month. The word is they aren't even allowing him to do live shows and some of them have decamped to Rondo's hometown of Savannah, Georgia to shade his name. Reese got in on the action when he found out that Rondo blocked him on Twitter and this is what he had to say. Scary chest little girl. So do you think that's a warning from the Shira Grim Reaper? Basically calling Quando a little chess girl. And y'all know in the past, they say that when Lily Reese makes a tweet or he makes certain emoji, that's the end for a rapper or for a specific person. Do you think that's the case with Quando Rondo? Because I see a lot of persons saying this and that about Quando, but Quando is still okay, man. It's not like, you know, any of them actually approached him. But then again, it's not like Quando is actually out in these streets where he can be found, you know. But do y'all think that it's over for Quando Rondo? They're definitely not easing up on him. We even see where um, King Von Uncle, you know, he sent a message to Quando saying that he'll never be able to perform that song, End of Story. You know, 600 Breezy, he's another one who is going after Quando Rondo. And we see where OTF Mimo actually went to Savannah. Um, guys, it's not looking good for Quando, but then again, like I said, it's just a bunch of internet talking. One person saying this and the next person saying that. But let me know how y'all feel about this. Lily Reese actually takes shots at Quando Rondo. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. And now we're going to talk about rapper Lil Wayne being sued by ex-manager for 20 mil. Ronald Sweeney, who was Lil Wayne's lawyer between 2005 and 2018 and his manager in 2018, is suing Wheezy for 20 million for unpaid commissions. According to Sweeney, he was owed more than what he got when Wayne settled his long-running law suit against Birdman and Cash Money in 2018. In addition, Sweeney claims that the same year Lil Wayne asked him to fire his then manager Cortez Bryant over a conflict of interest in a legal dispute involving Drake and Cash Money. At that point, Sweeney says he upped his fee from 10% to 17% commission because he was both lawyer and manager. That arrangement lasted less than a year and then Bryant, with help from Young Money President Matt Main, wrestled control of Wayne back from from Sweeney. Sweeney argues Wayne should be able to pay him the 20 million he says he owes him because this summer Wayne sold his masters to Universal for more than a hundred million. Wayne had actually sued Sweeney last year for the identical sum of 20 million claiming that when Sweeney was his lawyer he took 10% cut of all his deals instead of the industry standard of 5%. At that time Sweeney dismissed Wayne's legal malpractice suit against him as a campaign by Carter's other advisor to avoid paying him the money owed. Soon after, Sweeney sued Bryant and Maine for conspiring against him. Now he has the new separate lawsuit against Wayne. So what do y'all think about this situation, man? Do you think Sweeney will get the 20 mil owed to him? Well, allegedly owed to him. Um, it seems like this guy, he likes to sue, you know. But at the end of the day, because he saw that Lil Wayne actually sold his masters for 100 mil, He's basically, you know, he wants a cut of the pie. This guy Sweeney might actually just be greedy. But let me know how y'all feel about this man. Lil Wayne, he definitely not getting a break because I'm pretty sure you guys know that he has to go back to court, I believe, in December or January. I'm not too sure. But obviously y'all know that it has to do with the gun that they found on the plane. So, you know, hoping the best for Lil Wayne. But let's just watch and see how this plays out. But leave your comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Also, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, you can hit the thumbs down button. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed. And make sure you turn that bell on. That way you get notified whenever I post a new content. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.